Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 was up 2.24% today. Uh, second green shirt day in a row. Very powerful. Federal Reserve came out today, said that they're going to raise point, uh, one quarter of a point on the interest rates. Uh, and they released their dot plot, which is kind of their guesstimate on how many points they think they might have to do for the rest of the year, uh, which is not binding, but just somewhat interesting. And they said that maybe six more increases, total of seven. That's what the market was thinking was probably going to happen. So I think the market liked that. I also believe the market likes the fact that the Fed is getting more in line on looking at inflation as a bigger threat, because uh, that's certainly been what the market participants have been looking at. So having them get a little bit more aggressive, uh, at least in their thought process, of raising rates, uh, I think has been well received. Uh, the other part that's interesting though, is obviously it's hard to tell how many rate increases you're gonna have in an environment where China's locking down right now with COVID and this Ukraine situation, but there's still some flexibility. They can meet every time and try to decide how much they wanna raise rates depending on what's going on. Uh, di they did mention they felt the economy is quite strong, could handle these rate increases. I thought that was important. Uh, one of the things that came out today was a study going back 70 years, looking at when uh, the Federal Reserve raises rates the first time, how long does it usually take before we have a, a recession? We don't always have a recession, but how long does it take if we do have one? The average is three years uh, from the first. So that would be March of 2025. And theoretically would be the start of the average recession after a first rate increase. Uh, the shortest period of time is 11 months from 1981. Uh, and the longest period of time was 84 months later. Uh, I think one of the things that's happening with this market right now is there have been a lot of correlations drawn with 1981. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of talk about possible recessions happening in the very short term, you know, end of this year, beginning of next year really within this 11 month term uh, because that's the time frame we had high inflation like we have now and the federal reserve had to come in and really stamp on that and in so doing uh you know knock down the economy some and such too and that brought on a recession a lot faster um, this market is a lot different than 1981. The economy is really strong, uh, so that's an important component. Uh, but if you look back to 1981, you know we didn't have a pandemic, we didn't have trillions of dollars that came out in stimulus, we didn't have supply chain issues uh, to this degree uh, that are really hampering the you know supply of goods. We because the pandemic has happened, we've had this scenario where more money's been going into goods than services. For example, people aren't traveling as much, and when that happens you end up with more money chasing fewer things and the price goes up faster. If we can get back to a situation where, you know, we get a more even spread of our monies, you know, as a country, uh, inflation could drop, at least in that regard, uh, just from that standpoint. None of these were in the 1981 scenario that are here. Uh, and so I could go on and on. There's a lot of differences uh, because of the pandemic uh, scenario that we're in right now and the reopening and all those different types of things. So I caution people from feeling that there would be a recession in, in immediate term here. Uh, the market seems to be, you know, factoring that in. And that's partly why we've come down here some uh, and might happen, something we watch for. Uh, I just would be really surprised uh, because this is such a different situation. I still think it would take an awful lot to turn this economy down from where it is now, uh, personally. I mean, we just had 7% uh, gross domestic product growth for the fourth quarter. We have 11 point something million open jobs. Those are not recessionary signs to me personally. Uh, they're partly why we're causing inflation uh, because of this kind of hot growth. We did see retail sales come in a little bit lower today than expected. Uh, and so that's something to watch for. We'll see how that plays out. But overall, fantastic market. Saw the semiconductors make over 5% again today, the SOXX uh, index that we've been accumulating in these dips. Uh, we saw Microsoft and Apple uh, make well north of 2% uh, today also. So uh, again, the money's running into these growth arenas, uh, just like it did yesterday, just like it did last Wednesday. I've been saying all along that that's what we should be watching for. Where does the money go on the updates? Uh, so two updates in a row, very powerful, very fun thing really to look forward to. Hopefully this creates some stability for the market going forward. So look forward to uh, talking to you tomorrow. Thank you very much.